3, Victor 12 to dispatch. No sign of any suspicious activity. En route to Union and 12, over. Sewers a sewer. What do they care if we're sleeping down in them? Bunch of savages in this town. Hey, yo! Hey, Pally. If you didn't want this thing, you could have let one of us have it. Trust me, lads. Best to let it burn. What I tells ya? Bunch of savages in this town. Tantrums, fever dreams. A fool's lament, it would seem. Were you fallen? No tell. All tracks covered. We're having a pint, and I'll save you a seat. See you soon. Center. Now! How many times have I told you? Warren handles research issues, Annette. Not me. If there's been another spill, call... There's been an attack. What? Someone's breached security and now half the lab is in flames. This was an attack, not a spill. You're absolutely sure. I was here when it happened. I... Right now your boys in blue are swarming the place. Get down here. Get them off my back. Now. Annette, I'm very busy right now. Now, Brian. I'm already on my way. What? Durango, I do not have time for your bullshit. He did what? Breaking news this morning with multiple reports from local businesses and residents of a deadly explosion that occurred just hours ago in downtown Raccoon City. Reports indicated a research facility owned by Umbrella Pharmaceuticals as the epicenter of a catastrophic blast in the early morning hours. RCNN's own news correspondent, Alyssa Ashcroft, is live at the scene. Alyssa, what is the situation out there? Spencer, I'm standing less than a block away from what can only be described as ground zero for a massive explosion at Umbrella Pharmaceuticals Research and Development Center. It is an absolute frenzy here, and as you can see behind me, the RPD has most of the street and main entrance cordoned off from traffic. Investigators on site have yet to release an official statement as to the cause of the destruction. However, some locals worry it may have been an organized attack, similar to the bombings in Oklahoma City that occurred earlier this year. 
No confirmation on any casualties, but as you can see behind me, first responders as well as the RPD and local fire departments are still actively trying to sift through all the wreckage. It was freaking crazy, I saw the whole thing. We was on our way to work when all of a sudden, boom! Five balls up the wazoo! Like the 4th of July. Buddy over here, he got so spooked he spilled his coffee all over the pavement. Terrifying. Yeah, I hope they get the bastard that did it. <laughs> Not the worst hangover in the world, but definitely the worst <sighs> timing. Damn it. Gonna need a restock before the shaking starts. Thought you'd have the stomach for this stuff by now, Pasik. Bad Chinese for breakfast. That the new bottom shelf shit you drink now? <laughs> yeah, I'll send you a bottle for Christmas. Along with my foot up your ass. <laughs> Morning to you too, Sam. Marvin used to be a pain in my ass. It wasn't until I transferred to DT that I learned his ball busting was his way of caring. He still tries to keep me in check, but I didn't have the heart to tell him he was wasting his time. It's been a while since I've seen you like this. You sleeping much? Hate to break it to you, Marvin, but I've always been like this. Half a building's turned to ash by a blast the size of Texas. And you're worried about my sleeping habits, eh, Marv? Cheap scotch and cigarettes isn't a sleeping habit. <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. Jesus, the boys under the morgue gonna have a field day with this one. Think it was one of the locals in town? Arkley Bone Collectors? Maybe Da Nascimento's crew? Doesn't feel like it. ABCs are gun runners and dope dealers. This is way out of their league. And Nascimento ain't the corporate terrorist type. Besides, word is he's more concerned about getting the head of whoever offed his kid and dumped him in the river. Where are we on footage? Been waiting over an hour for a copy of the tapes. Security needs approval from corporate first. Did you try telling them you're a cop? Gee, must have slipped my mind. How many body bags are we looking at? Not much. Other than a skeleton crew, the place is pretty much empty. That's it? Any survivors? We got a researcher who survived Ground Zero, Annette Birkin. She made the initial call in 911. Is she still here? Yeah, EMT's got her out front, but she ain't talking much. Meyer tried to get a statement, but she sent him packing with his tail between his legs. Hmm. Well, don't send a rookie to do a detective's job. <laughs> you got that right. You're being sarcastic, aren't mm, you? Yep. <sighs> I'll handle it. How are you feeling, Mrs. Birkin? I've had better mornings. Right, well, my condolences. Listen, Mrs. Birkin. Dr. Birkin. Dr. Birkin. We're doing everything we can to figure out what happened here. But you stonewalling us like this isn't helping. You'd be saving both of us a lot of paperwork if you just showed a little cooperation. I was working late, then there was an explosion below my office. That's it. I already gave my story. You want the rest? Go talk to that rookie you sent. I'm not talking to him, I'm talking to you. So you can cut the Ice Queen act and go straight to the part where you tell me if you saw anything suspicious. Excuse me? Suspicious activity. Yes or no? I honestly can't remember much. You were the only one to make it out of the blast area alive. You must have seen something. Anything. Move! Out of the way! Now! Shit. As if this hangover couldn't get any worse. No doubt Durango ran crying to him about our little chat last night. Othic! Not another word! Dr. Birkin is not to receive any kind of harassment, especially from you. 
about damn time. My apologies, Dr. Birkin. I came as soon as I could. No more questions, Arthur. The doctor is in my care now. Since when did you become a witness liaison? Not another smart-ass remark from you, Arthur. I want an updated report on what the hell happened here before the day is out. Don't you think that's a bit out of line? Christ, the company still won't give us the security footage, and most of the building still hasn't. You want to talk out of line? Assaulting a rehabilitated informant, that's out of line! I swear to Christ, if he pushes charges on... Irons? Shut it. Unless you were to dig my car out from the garage, I suggest you find me a ride home. Now. <sighs> Fine. I'll drop you off. And as for you, officer? Detective. Talk to me like that again, detective? I'll have you buried under more than just paperwork. Full report. My desk. End of day. Jesus. Can't remember the last time you got the chief that riled up. It gets easier the more you know him. So, what's this about a ex-informant? Sorry, Marvin, but there's no way in hell I'm telling you about what goes down at night with me in this town. You'd probably have me arrested, or worse, lose faith in me. Just some prick that used to work for me. Still sour about old dealings. Right. So... Think the chief has a mystery mistress thing going on here? Jesus, Marvin, I already threw up once today. Warren's already breathing down my neck for a bone to throw to city officials. It's bad enough he's been shoving this bright raccoon project down everyone's throat. But now this terrorist bullshit today, right as he's up for re-election. Christ almighty, he's Brian, gonna be. Shut up. I'm tired, I'm cold, and right now, I just really need you to shut the fuck up. Besides, I can barely hear anything you're saying. This is serious, Annette. This is going to draw a lot of attention and make a lot of people very nervous. The company will handle it. The company always handles it. This is Chief Irons. Oh, ah, yes. Good morning, Mr. Birkin. Yes, yes, she's right here with me. I'm taking her home as she requested. Oh? Well, who is the company sending? A specialist? What kind of specialist? And again, with feeling this time on three, one, Silent two. night, holy night. No, no, I said God. on three. Come Man. on, guys. Damn it, Rita. We've been at this for almost an hour. And it'll be another hour if y'all don't get it right. Oh, my wife's going to kill me. You're saying ABCs aren't behind this. I'm saying they're not capable of this. Arclay bone collectors are thugs in leather jackets. Narcotics, assault, and robbery. That's their MO. Not this tactical James Bond shit. They're amateurs. Amateurs that are responsible for more than half the calls dispatch receives. Not to mention the body count. If there's one thing they love running more than contraband, it's their mouths. Your point is? They brag. ABCs are notorious for self-incrimination if it means an ounce of street cred. I've checked with informants. No one's heard a damn thing about this. Pure conjecture, Arthur. Just give me a few days. I'll shake down a few more CIs. Get a name ready for the feds to string up on the 6 o'clock news. The feds aren't touching this. What the hell are you talking about? This is Unabomber-level shit we're dealing with. Probably from someone well-organized. 
the feds will totally be involved in. Warren and city officials are confident this investigation can be handled by the RPD alone. Involving outside authorities would just complicate things. Bullshit. Warren just wants a show of force so he can look good for his re-election. Mayor Warren has granted me full authority on this. An operation is being prepped as we speak. For what? The apprehension and seizure of any known ABC property and affiliates. Apprehension and seizure. More like search and destroy. Chief, that's a warpath you're gunning for. You pull the scorched earth shit, all you're gonna get are dead bodies and dead ends. Not to mention a power vacuum that'll suck every gang in town into a turf war. You know damn well we don't have the manpower for that. Spare me your bleeding heart sob story. Warren agreed there's efficient evidence on the ABC. There to be apprehended. Any street rat who chooses to intervene will be handled with extreme prejudice. What about reports of a company-wide data leak earlier this week? Not to mention the facility's lead tech analyst just happens to disappear the day before the bombing. Forensics even says the location of the- No more theories, Othic. The decision is final. Whatever. And another thing. You're off the Nasimeto case. Any new details go straight to McCaffrey's division. Got it? Yeah, I got it. I'll be keeping a close eye on you, Othic. Christ. All those nights putting my insomnia to use, and McCaffrey gets all the credit. I haven't had a good night's sleep in a million years. Iron's greenlighting another RPD shootout wasn't a surprise. Bastard got a kick out of bullets and bloodshed. Being in the RPD as long as I have, you learn a few things. Thugs plague the streets. Families indulge from the sweets. A lousy definition of Raccoon's ecosystem. But analogies aside, one thing was clear. Don't fuck with the corporation. Umbrella owned everything. Even a two-bit outfit like the ABCs knew that. So when a guy in a van full of explosives decides to pay a visit to a science lab owned by the biggest crooks in town, it makes you wonder who's going to retaliate the most. A global conglomerate or the son of a bitch crazy enough to blow a hole in their research department. This was tactical, as much as it was personal. The evidence was flimsy. But what little I had pointed to an inside job. Michael J. Denton, lead research analyst, goes MIA. Then a day before the Big Bang, he telephones in a request for some last-minute PTO. The same week that Don Nano Nascimento, head of the most notorious crime family in Raccoon City, finds his youngest boy floating through the inner city river with a dome full of 9mm lead. I kept coming back to what Durango had said after I'd given him a lead limp. Real big guy with tattoos and a weird fucking accent. He came around asking a bunch of questions at the bar Blackjack. Outside of hearing a voice, the bastard caught on tape fit a close description to Durango's info. Not too close, but enough for me to want to face to face with whoever it was. I had a feeling that whoever was crazy enough to pull out that stunt at Umbrella R&D this morning would have the same kind of crazy in him to go after the Nascimento family. It was paper thin at best, but I'd worked with less before. Hopefully someone at Bar Blackjack would have the answers I'm looking for. In his press conference today, Mayor Warren addressed the growing concerns regarding the incident at the Umbrella Research Facility earlier this morning. Raccoon City is indebted for the immense contributions made by the Umbrella Corporation. This act of violence against them will not go unpunished. This is precisely the kind of threat the Bright Raccoon Project is aiming to combat. My office is working closely with the RPD, and I have it on good authority that those responsible for today's attack will be brought to justice. Swiftly. Nesta, S Sergio, you, you gotta give me some more time. Please. Silencio. You're breaking my concentration. Caralho. He 
is short. Just, just one more day. I swear I'll have all the money for Don Nascimento. You know the rules. No dough. No dome. <laughs> Raccoon City's south end was a breeding ground for trouble. A canvas painted in shadow and danger. I'm barely a few blocks in and already the streets were alive with a cacophony of death and violence. And nestled at the rotten core was Bar Blackjack. A notoriously unfriendly place to anyone who didn't have a rap sheet thicker than a phone book. It had occurred to me that Durango could have been spewing bullshit. Folks tend to spill just about anything after a kiss from a bullet. I'd have to hope I'd been convincing enough to him that he'd dread life in a wheelchair. My browning twitched beneath my coat, but I'd have to play spectator. I was gonna have to finesse this one, keep irons from catching wind about my covert rendezvous. Luckily, I still had a few tools from my undercover days to keep things subtle. I could only pray my old outfit from those days still held up. A badge was a painted target around here. How's about you pony up them 20 bucks right now, motherfucker? How's about I shove this cue up your ass and turn you into Popsicle? What do you want? Hardest thing you got. On the rocks. Rest I can do is piss warm Midas. What do you know? That's my brand. <sighs> Much obliged. Listen, I'm looking for someone who hangs around here. A lot of people hang around here, pal. From what I hear, he's a bit of a troublemaker. A lot of troublemakers around here, pal. Getting real close to putting a bullet in this guy's leg, too. You don't say. Maybe you've seen him? Big guy, with tattoos and a weird accent. Has a thing for biblical rants. Oh. Well, that got his attention. Probably wearing ABC tags. You know who I'm talking about, don't you? Hmm, maybe. Does sound familiar. Say, I need to take care of this mess really quick. <laughs> this can't be good. Say now, that there's one fine looking coat. You need something, pal? Yeah, that coat, amigo. How about a deal? Give me the coat now, and I'll make sure your blood won't get all over it. Well, give me that coat, and I'll make sure you're still breathing. I'd been in enough stings gone south to know when the act was up. Cop or not, they're out for blood. I gripped my brass knucks. The only question was who'd strike first. You gotta admit, you boys drive a hard bargain. I'm about to drive something real hard into you if you don't take that fucking coat off. I've got a better deal. How about you two inbred chumps fuck off back to Dixieland and let me finish my drink. What the fuck did you just say? I said the coat ain't for sale, Smokey. Why don't you and Bandit piss off back to Texarkana? Alone in a rundown, cop-hating dive against a couple of bruisers. Flashing my badge and reading their rights would have been the smart thing to do. Goddamn piece of shit, cop. Guess I wasn't that smart. <sighs> so much for being subtle. <laughs> <laughs> Say hello to Dusty. Damn it! Come on! Ah. Come here, you son of a oh, goddamn pansy! Hmm? Uh. 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 
<laughs> Bitch. I, I got something for you. Uh oh. That's quite the boomstick you've got there. Drop it. Now. Whoa, 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 whoa. Peace, man. Look, I don't want any part of this. Drago set the whole thing up. Is that right? Yeah, said some cop would be coming around asking about a big tattooed guy. Those guys you roughed up were his, not mine. I got no beef with you, pal, but you sure pissed off someone dangerous. Pretty sure the guy pointing a gun at your face is more dangerous. Okay, okay. You got the gun, you make the rules. What do you, what do you want? I want you to answer my question. Big tattooed guy. Who is he? I'll be straight with you. I got no idea who he is. I don't even know his name. Came in here talking about weird biblical shit. Sounded like he was trying to recruit. Recruit for what? Don't know, didn't ask. Guy was bonkers. I told him to get the hell out of here. Been worried he might come back with people ever since. Hmm, is that it? That's it, that's all of it. Send my regards to Durango. Sure, Wh whatever you say, pal. I'll be confiscating these. Ah, shit. Talk about being in the right place at the wrong time. I should have expected nothing less from a two-bit chump like Durango to set me up for a beatdown. So here I am again, freezing in another back alley. Questions still piling up. And answers thinner than ice. Not to mention a bleeding head wound. Come on. I guess my next move is some R&R &R with whatever scotch I got left over. Probably stitch this gash up. Then I'll find a spot in the woods for Durango's final. That was quite the mess you made back there. Huh? Officer. From the snow and gloom emerged a shadow of a femme fatale. Dressed in black leather and latex, a cigarette smoldering in her hand. Detective. They teach you to play dirty like that in the academy, detective? Her voice echoed off the narrow brick walls, dripping with sultry bravado. The gal was a hard read, her tone easing me into a false security. Her pretty faces had tricked me before, more like how to keep my ass in one piece. Look, you got a problem with me? Take it up at the station, miss. Fiona Noir, and trouble's not on my menu. Overheard your chat inside, and I think a collaboration might be in our cards. And just how do you figure? The man you're looking for? I know him. The world was getting too small for coincidences. Is that so? Why should I trust you? Because I can give you his name, and where to find him. You don't say. Aggravated assault? No badge? No arrest. You're the off-record type. The guy you're looking for? Let's just say he's a problem for me that needs to be handled off-record. Are you trying to solicit some legal activity, Miss Noir? Interested or not? What do you got? Marcus Rearson goes by Thumper. Disturbing son of a bitch. Lately, he's become a regular down at Club Dagger Heels. But he ain't playing by the rules. Normally, me and the girls would handle our problems alone. But the bastard is well connected. He's got a lot of cash and a lot of guns. But seeing that one of Raccoon's finest has an interest in him, I'd say that makes for a mutual fix. Handling the same way you handle those thugs, maybe a bit more excessively, you'd be doing us both a favor. And where exactly would I find him? Come by the club tomorrow night. He'll be there. And I'll be working. Well, ain't that some luck. Just when I thought I was on the ropes, a puzzle piece lands right in my lap. <sighs> See you soon, Fiona.
Guardians gathered. We're all waiting for you, sir. Excellent work, Thumper. You've again proven yourself valuable to the light. Disciples! The darkest hours before dawn are upon us. We have dealt a crucial blow, and now hell is coming. And the lost and the wayward shall ask, what is hell? What is hell? It is the embodiment of wickedness, the Umbrella Corporation, seeking to play God and spawning unholy abominations. What is hell? It is Raccoon City decaying and festering from corruption. What is hell? It is chaos and violence, wild and unrestrained in the streets. Raccoon City will burn and Umbrella will fall. Our inferno shall sear away this mayhem leaving only ashes and purity in its wake. For which you are constrained, you will no longer be by the power of the 52. We are superior in all. We are the Crusaders of Light. You wanted to see me, sir? At ease, Captain. Thank you for coming on such short notice. <sighs> Captain, have you ever met this gentleman before? No, sir. And myself? No, sir, not personally. Captain, you were enlisted back in 91 under General Wright's command of the USM Biological Research Team? Yes, sir. And in 92, you were transferred to the DOD, specifically the U.S. AMRID Biodefense and Infectious Disease Department? I'm not presently disposed to discuss any detail regarding that department, sir. From 93 to 94, were you not deployed under the supervision of the DOD and the CIA to the eastern region of Africa? No, sir. 
Did you not assassinate a Soviet viral researcher? Rift Valley Province, October 14th, 1993. Sir, I am unaware of any such activity or operation, nor would I be disposed to discuss such an operation if it did, in fact, exist. Sir. I think we get the idea here, Travis. Captain, you've- Travis, if you don't mind, I'll take it from here. I'd like some privacy with the captain. As you wish. Sorry for the whole charade. Needed authorized clearance and a chaperone while on site here. You know how it is. You're looking good, Wesker. Good to see you too, Holden. I take it this is more than just a social visit? There's been an incident at one of the facilities. I'm sure you recall the place. <laughs> 